announcement, a uh, couple of weeks back. So it's quite an important announcement for HTC because on one side we announced two, two products, but we also announced a, a collaborative marketing approach with Microsoft where we would effectively come together and the belief from both companies is that we're delivering the best manifestation of Windows Phone. And because of that, we're actually naming a product jointly as well, which is why you see the products called Windows Phone 8X by HTC and Windows Phone 8S by, by HTC. So let me tell you a bit about you know well, why why Windows Phone, why we're excited about Windows Phone and what, what we're doing. So Windows Windows Phone is um, it's actually the cornerstone for HTC's business. We started off 15 years ago uh, building Windows Phones. The business started building uh, connected Windows CE based products, and then that developed into a 15 year partnership with Microsoft, where we've deli delivered a number of devices, a num number of firsts on the Windows Phone platform. And so that includes the first manufacturer to launch Windows Phone 7 and Windows 7.5 products as well. So it's natural that we, uh, we bring to the market a series of compelling products on Windows Phone 8 as well. And the reason why we're uh, excited about Windows Phone is it's not because we love the platform, it's because also we see that there is significant growth potential in Windows Phone. Microsoft have an ecosystem, not just around mobile, but with Xbox and, and PC and tablet now, that unifies the user experience across multiple platforms, making it really, really easy for consumers to share data, manipulate uh, documents on the go, for example. Now, now, the analyst community is also pretty excited about Windows Phone, and they're pre predicting between 2011 and 2012, 400% year-on-year growth on Windows Phone. Okay? So they see that as being a, you know, the, actually the fastest growing platform in mobile moving forward into 2016. So we need to have a series of very compelling products in our, in our portfolio. So this is the, um, the 8S, 8X, sorry. And this is the 8S. So we have two devices here. Now, we've been working with Microsoft for the last two years on these products. And we've taken a highly collaborative uh, approach to the industrial design and execution of the device. The design of the product is actually inspired, inspired by the live tiles on the, on the screen. So the concept around Windows Phone is all around, all about enabling consumers to personalize their products how they see fit. And these tiles are live as well, so they show me content. Now the tiles are very square and angular, as are screens as well, which is why our design language on the 8S and the 8X is also square. Okay? We wanted to make the products really, really slim as well, really, really slim. So what we did was, we actually took the approach where we take the live tile design inspiration and pillow out the back. Okay? Almost like inflating it with air. Okay? But clearly there's components inside there. But the clever thing is, is that our engineers have stacked the components along the center of the product. It actually means that we can, we can taper the design at the side. So when you feel it in your hand, it feels like a really, really, really slim product. Okay? It's actually 10, 10, millimeter, 10 millimeters thick, but when you feel it in your hand, because the design is so tapered to the edge, it feels razor sharp, it feels really, really thick. And we've taken exactly the same design language from our 8X and put it on the 8S as well. Okay? So we have our kind of big brother, little brother scenario in terms of products. The 8X for us is our, is our premium offering. Okay? For a design this good, we need to have some pretty good hardware behind it. So driving it is the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 chipset running at 1.5 gigahertz, which makes multitasking and the user experience around flowing through those live tiles super slick and super smooth. But we're also making sure that we continue our leadership around camera. Earlier on in the year, in March this year, we unveiled the HTC One family of products where we talked about amazing camera because we know that there are 45 billion photos uploaded onto Facebook every year. Most of those photos, let's face it, are not great. We want to make sure users are able to upload their photos onto Facebook via their mobile phone in the best possible format. We also recognize that a lot of those photos are taken in low light conditions, okay? When people are at parties and they're out and about at friends' houses, which is why we have our F2.0 camera in here, 
which means we're allowing 44% more light than an f2.6 aperture camera. So it's a bigger lens, bigger sensor, more light into there, okay? We also have our dedicated image chip, which allows the product to autofocus very, very quickly, capture images very, very quickly, and in low light conditions, when, there's, when it's dark, for example, you sometimes get grainy picture effects. Our, our image chip does color correction and image correction to remove that graininess of the image as well. And obviously we have a, a flash on there as well. Now we're not just stopping on the back camera, we feel that there is a, an important use case and an important need to innovate on the front camera as well. So wouldn't it be nice if I could take a photo of myself at arm's length with my front camera in low light conditions and still have a fantastic image? So the design team had the challenge of producing a camera that would capture me and three of my friends at arm's length. Okay? So this also has an f2.0 camera sensor on there and the viewing angle is 88 degrees. So actually now I can hold this camera at arm's length and take four of my friends, myself and four of my friends in that camera shot. Okay? Remember years ago when we had cameras with a little mirror on the back? You don't need that anymore. We just innovate on the front camera. And to take the image, I can just press anywhere on the screen. I don't, don't have to fiddle around to find the camera free. I just press on the screen and take that, take that photo. The other area where we're, we're continuing our heritage around uh, uh, leadership on features is around Beats Audio. So we're still the only uh, mobile phone vendor in the world that can put Beats Audio onto, onto our devices. So we have, we have Beats inside on each of these products since the branding on the back. And I would love you to experience it on the products over here. Now the key difference that we have on the ATEX with the Beats Audio is that we have a dedicated amplifier chip. So scenario being, remember um, sometimes when you listen to music and you turn the volume up really loud, it gets distorted, it doesn't sound great. We have an amplifier on here that allows you to drive up the volume as loud as you like and you will not lose any of the integrity of that audio. You still have that deep bass, you still have that treble on there. It's still tuned by beats. We also have a, a pretty high, high, uh, high definition uh, speaker on here, a high fidelity speaker on here as well. So actually if I put my phone down on the table and want to listen to music, it sounds crisp and clear also. So we're taking Beats Audio to the next level by allowing people to listen to it loud. Okay. Now, now, Windows Phone, these two Windows Phones are going to be available uh, from November. So we're, we're quite excited to announce them or, or show them to everyone here. And I would really encourage you to have a feel and experience the Windows Phone products. Okay. Shall we move on to 